Bazinga! Okay, ready? Yeah. Let's start. Yeah. Huh? Welcome, DJ Bros. <laughs> Got him. Okay, let him reintroduce yeah. the thing. This is a uh, new edition of DJ Bros podcast. And we haven't done one of these in probably like a year or two. Over a year. Over Isn't a year. It, that, that is God. ridiculous, man. It's been been time so just, long. Oh, yeah. You ever tried DMT? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's crazy. Yeah, time just flies when you can't do anything and you're, you're stuck in your house all the time. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so um, for today's topic, uh, I suggested the idea of us just talking about the history of our channel. And, and the reason for that is that um, we are considering... A name change and uh-huh. so <laughs> pretty soon we might end up doing you know some sort of DJ bro series finale or this could be it <laughs> currently currently juicy ice is in, is in uh, in uh, another another state over facing court cases but instead we have Jack Blurton here <laughs> Jack so Jack Blurton, that was a you? real reason juicy ice quit yeah just yeah. this yeah just Jack Blurton. juicy ice is like fighting those court cases go him save the troops um, <laughs> all how right are you doing Jack I'm doing great, and so for this for this um, podcast, Jacob and I each create a, created a list of seasons of DJ Bros, okay? So this is basically, we each went through all of our videos and just noticed streaks where all videos sort of had a similar vibe, and like moments where the vibe of our videos completely changed. So I ended up with uh, seven seasons. Jacob, how many did you end up with? I ended up with eight. Totally. Ended up with eight. Okay, so I'm gonna start with mine. My season Why one. Hmm? Sorry, never mind. Okay. The DJ Bros is the season as Jacob is to his ass cheeks. Sorry, <laughs> that's homophobic. So. Oh, that's a problem. It's homophobic. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So we start. We Sorry. Start. Yeah, I said all the chips. I'm. <laughs> no. That's top. No, look, pork rinds. Oh. Nice. What are you saying, Jack? Yeah. So I was saying, um. Okay, look at how much the audio spiked when we started playing with it. Uh, <laughs> 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 no way. Keep like, that in mind. This tastes like shit. Okay, uh, I'm sorry you think that. <laughs> this tastes really I'm bad. Don't okay, great. Fine. But well, you're both playing. I swear <laughs> to God. Do you like these? No. Jack, can you start or not? I cannot start when you're making that much noise. It's been four minutes. This smells like. This smells like actual fucking. Dick. <laughs> okay, whatever. I'm eating penises? <laughs> that's what rhymes are, actually. <laughs> oh, oh, that's bad. That bad. It Does doesn't it smell that bad. That smells bad. Bro, All right, it fine. smells like literal ass. <laughs> it smells like ass. So, I, I, I have I both tasted and smelled ass, and that's what it tastes Wait, like what? and smells like. <laughs> How do you know that? How do you know that? So, you tasted ass? <laughs> Woohoo! Who's who? <laughs> which guy? <laughs> you, you assume it's a guy. All right, so getting back on track here. I'm going to start with my season one. So obviously the first season starts with the first ever DJ Bros video, How to Get Good at Basketball. Directed by and me. And it ends. I swear to God, if you keep making noise with that thing, I'm going to... So, and then it ends. All right, yeah, this is going away. Bye-bye, popcorn. <laughs> Bye-bye, popcorn. Yo, I feel bad for whoever has to edit this. I'm not doing it, just for the record. Right, okay, please. okay. So, yeah, like I was saying, it starts with how to get good at basketball. That was in April 2017. And it ends with we're not dead in January 2018. Yeah, that's pretty much the exact same I have. Exact same? Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it makes sense because basically every video was only done by you. Every video was done only by you and Don at that point. Yeah, you had like a few cameos. Yeah, that's That was about it. Yeah. Yeah. That's the namesake of DJ Bros. Don and Jacob. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, so... You two, um... <laughs> Jesus, why the fuck are you eating during the video? Like, you know I, mean? I swear to God, it's empty! <laughs> it's empty! <laughs> uh, yeah, you two were in every video, and then that you, like, would do some vlogs with friends, but, like, yeah, that's exactly what made me think, because season two, of course, starts with the next video, which was Juicy Gang, and that was the first video where Dawn didn't appear. And also, the, of course, the first time where I started doing the uh, the Juicy Ice Pool, of course. Did we uh, distinct DJ Adventures from DJ Bro? Okay, this is a forbidden uh, trinket that we will not discuss. We're not discussing DJ Adventures? Listen, nope. okay. So for those who don't know, DJ Adventures was a channel me and Dawn had in the past long ago. That's where Spooky House came from. Um, yeah, season two. Um, Bro. 
S season two for me starts with Juicy Gang and ends with the parody of D Rose, which I call DJ Bros. Ah, DJ Bros, DJ Bros. For me, so um, let me see. So for me, uh, it started at Juicy Gang and makes it sense. ended at Avengers Infinity Bros Endgame. Okay, yeah, yeah, that sort of makes made sense. Um, the reason why I ended it at some um, D Rose is because um. After that, the videos, we had a bit of a, a streak of some more cinematic videos, if you ask me. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that makes sense, I suppose. It's just Avengers, Infi uh, the Endgame one, that was so fucking cringy. <laughs> and, uh, Spoilers. I, <laughs> Spoiler alert. I, I, I think it, it's clumped together since it was part of the, since that whole series was part of, the, should be part of the same Yeah, season. yeah, that's, that, that's reasonable. Yeah. So anyway, um, yeah, then well, we got... Not. <laughs> well, that's your opinion then. All right, so season season three for me starts in August 2018 with Waste Man, like I said, and ends with our 2019 channel trailer, which came out the following March. Uh, yeah. So mine started with Shrek vlogs. Okay, makes and then sense it to me. ended at the DJ Bros channel trailer. All right, so we're pretty much like r right on track here. Yeah, or I think I think undoubtedly that could be considered the golden age. With DJ wins. Bros, um, I don't know. I think that with the videos that came out then, they were, they well, were, they were kind of cringy, but I, I thought a lot of them were funny and actually kind of, unironically, not terrible. Uh, well, actually, I would argue that um, our um, our golden age was right in the middle for me. So I've got se seven seasons. So right in the middle is season four. I believe that our golden age started in May 2019 with the Bro Game trailer and ended that October with the Weird Kids and Crackheads po podcast. So you think that was the golden age? Oh, I totally thought that was the golden age, man. That was, when, that was when we did the t two of our most viewed videos. We did Backstabbing and Adam Sandler back to back. Yeah. Okay, Backstabbing got more, that's not fair. Well, <laughs> it's not like it was better. <laughs> yeah. Guys, I have, I have a back. secret bonus question for you guys. If you have to guess who's disabled, me or Jacob, who would you think? Leave your answers in the comments. Who <laughs> take them to table? <laughs> I guess those were a few great ones, but I don't know. It wasn't over a very long period of time. Yeah. So I, I don't know. I don't think it's really really the best. And okay, the, fair I, enough. I thought the the assassination Avengers bro game, I thought that was low-key not very good. Makes sense. But, uh, yeah, that's about that's it. That's poggers. All right, and then so What's season the season? season five for me that so for me that um, uh, Avengers Infinity Bros without context for me that was the start of a new season season five so uh, that was December 2019 and then it ended with that really weird 13 reasons why video that I did in July 2020. Give yeah, me one second. sorry, I, I gotta go back. Yeah, so season five is uh, from Jack's Jack's pair Jack's. Uh, Friends parody, Jack Silly, <laughs> um, Jack Silly parody. To I, I said either the DJ Bros Where the quarantine. Where you put it? <laughs> you're, you, well, that you're gonna have to look a little harder than that, or take a seat. Those are your two options: look harder or take a seat. You don't want them to go down you the same way. You can eat your popcorn later. Right? I want my popcorn, Denny. <laughs> okay, so. so yeah, from imitate to either the D, to either the quarantine uh, podcast. Or uh, Avengers Bro Game Age of Ice. Oh, okay, yeah. So, so that's so pretty close. So we'll end on either one of those, just because I feel like Age of Ice was just really random and kind of stupid. But again, the the I quarantine agree. one, it kind of I don't know. I felt like that Which era. Which one was stupid? The uh, uh, Bro Game Age of Ice. It was stupid. So I think I honestly I think the era from Imitate yeah. to to um, the quarantine was like really bad for DJ Bros. Yeah, unfortunately. Like it so. was just it just felt dead because Jack posted two parodies and there was one podcast. Basically for me, like even preceding the pandemic, this is just a period of some really random wacky videos. Yeah. Like yeah. you got like what, Jack? Okay, like I said, Avengers Infinity Bros without context. Well, the point is that there's no context to it. It's just a bunch of random clips. Yeah, then so you've true. got the forbidden DJ Bros footage where all of us were just like high or something, I could assume. That's we weren't the point. actually high, oh. okay? We were just yeah. fucking we yeah. were, we were in, Some but, of us may have been. We were engaging in deep philosophical thoughts. <laughs> I wasn't. I, 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 yeah, I, was. I don't do that. 
That's why he's disabled. <laughs> <laughs> so that video was. Hello, welcome to the DJ Bros <laughs> podcast. My name is Avery, <laughs> and you say I'm disabled. <laughs> <laughs> so that yeah, video. That that video was followed by Ben's stand up comedy video, oh, and and God. like that that was another one off. A lot of right? these are a lot of these are just one offs. Yeah, JoJo meme. Yeah, yeah. JoJo's like funny little edit I made because JoJo's a great anime. Yeah, yeah. It's very silly. And then um, the, the second episode of the Juicy Ice podcast. No, <laughs> <laughs> the, I, the Juicy Ice I, podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Juicy Ice. Is that even the second episode? Uh, oh no, it is the second. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wasn't so, JoJo the one with the funny Hitler man? Definitely. Sometimes, really sometimes anime has things. to break boundaries. <laughs> break boundaries to make it big. So, um, what? like Wait, what's the thing. insinuation there? I don't know because a lot of popular animes have themes of racism and slavery. <laughs> oh right, yeah, no, I, I have heard about that. I, yeah. I don't watch much anime. Oh, but one yeah. second, guys. Okay, I heard that. What's wrong? I'm getting a phone call from who? All right, we'll put we'll put Hello? this on. Hi. So somebody, somebody welcome to DJ Bros. My name's Avery, this is Jacob, yeah, and this yeah, is Ben. Go to, uh, <laughs> uh, I guess I'm running the show now. Um, All right, no, so, I'm Jack, Jack, you know, we're we'll, going we'll to Subway? Jack, I'm, we I'm fucking you, angry, you, right? Your use right. has At expired. Literally, right. the universe. Okay, and... yeah, I'm back. You so... ruined the joke! I wanted him, I put the pillow where you were gonna sit, and he took it right before <laughs> you sat down. <laughs> oh, that's All a right. really silly but prank, Jacob. Market. What's that gonna do? He's gonna sit on a pillow. That's really funny. Okay. And then moving on to season six, that's every yeah. video from the gift of love in August to the gift of laughter in January. Hmm. Okay, so okay, um, uh, okay, yeah. So for me, I had, um, so I since I interchanged the the quarantine podcast and Age of Ice, I'd say so. Season six started with I'm, I'm okay. I'm gonna say it started with the thirteen reasons why crossover. Okay. And it ended with the gift of laughter. All right, all right. So very close. Um. Well, well, for me, it's uh, I, I'm. Uh, that's a bit puzzling to me that you would include uh, the the thirteen reasons why video. Actually, in that no, season. no, no. Sorry, sorry. I screwed that up. Okay. I Wait, meant to me say before. no. I meant to say the thirteen reasons why to the DJ Bros Twenty Twenty channel trailer. How many videos right. did we release in like like three in Twenty Twenty? So I, I, I just well, think, not very I, I just many think early through that on. phase, we couldn't. It's like a hiatus. I, I think through that yeah, phase, exactly. it had, um, like, like we said, I had a few one-offs. But I think in terms of editing and our attitude, I think the ones like the like the gift of love, the the final showdown, the party, the, the one party that, was my favorite. Yeah, the one that, whose shit clogged the toilet. That one. Yeah, I exactly. Thought this, I thought this we all know who that was. was very we funny. I thought the imposter. I thought the channel trailer was really good. The only one that was okay was the bro game trailer and recap. Ah, sorry, yeah. I gotta be honest, but like, yeah, I think otherwise it was pretty great, and I, I yeah, yeah. The, so you know what? Yeah, I, I was actually thinking. I would say this was our resurgence because that was when we were like big groups of us were allowed in the same place because COVID COVID cases were down. Right. And um, yeah. So yeah, I I would say I pretty much agree with you on all of that. And then season seven is, my, for me, the one that we're currently in. So it starts with Epic Log, which was uploaded in March. And then, well, we're in July now. So we've been in the current season, season seven, for, for four months now. I think, uh, yeah, you're making me think that it should either be seven or eight, because I split into two. So, into two. so what, I what I originally had was the Adam Sandler from Zero the Halloween Hero to... The gift of laughter, which was season seven, so that oh was, man, that that's was a, a short one. Yeah, that was that would, be, would have been very short. But then we kind of, I say that because we didn't upload for like two months, mm -hmm. and then we and then season eight would be epic, epic log, and then up to now. For me, season seven, the current season, um, that one I would say, like the defining feature so far is that we've been. You know, a bit more serious, you know, because definitely, you know, retiring the Juicy Ace character was, was pretty bitty, bittersweet for me, not gonna lie. Then, of course, you did the uh, the album rankings videos. Those have been great, by the way. And even the Infinity Bros, which is basically uh, a YouTube... The re-edit, which is basically a YouTube poop. I would say even that was a bit serious in the way that we are making fun of ourselves a lot. <laughs> 
And like the, yeah. to me, that's our video where and we basically and, and say, actually like, like I feel me. like like more effort. <laughs> Yeah, well. yeah. Like, especially with the final parody as well. Uh huh. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah and Epic right. Log. Yeah, yeah. The only one that I'd say, you know, obvious outliers the ne- is the night Ben got hit. Yes, exactly. I, I, I wanted to post that because, like, in the moment, it was fucking hilarious when he got hit. Because he got ben hit got with, a shot firework. with a firework. And he That's was hilarious. he was so pissed. Yeah, it was really funny. And I, I, I don't mean to, like, laugh at your torment, but, like, uh-huh. I don't mean to laugh at your torment, but I thought it'd be funny to post it. But looking back, it is that's what everyone shit, does, especially but... without context. It's just like kind of weird. Yeah, because like, Aiden was the one holding the camera. On. And he's black. I, I I'm starting to think you're more right. When when you say that all around me are familiar like faces, down to born out. the gift of laughter is that what is that yeah what you said? that was that was my I, season five. I think that was the best. Mm. I think that was the funniest because I, oh, I definitely remember my like, mistake. That was season six for me. Season six for me okay, was the, well, gift, of yeah, our, the uh, gift of laughter. Yeah, the, around that point, I thought that was the most. I thought that was the funniest, <laughs> and I thought that was the most entertaining to watch. Hold on, hold on a second. I would say one thing that I think makes season Are four we... season four stand out to me is just um uh yeah so like the the videos might not have been quite as funny. I knew you were gonna do that. I I, I think the videos back then were pretty funny, but I would say they're, they're even if they're not quite as funny, just the production values were higher, which definitely was helped by the fact that we had you know a course on how to. Jacob, this my shirt's cool. All four of us. We've, we've talked about this in previous videos. All four of us. Guys, took a course. guys, which one of these is more disabled? Man, that, that was probably the best course I ever took. So in high school. Yeah, manual. pretty pretty damn close. Because it actually, it, that, I don't mean to be mean to the teacher or anything, but that class was low key a joke, <sighs> and not, not even a joke, but like it was. It was, it was because just, it, was it was so fun. funny. It wasn't it was so even funny. like difficult. I enjoyed it all. It was so funny. It was funny as well, man. And I, there's so many stories from that class. Too. Yeah, exactly. Like so many funny moments and a great uh-huh. time in our school, like in our in our high school experience. You know, yes, I've actually exactly. never watched episode three of the podcast. Fair I enough. Never, I never listened it's back terrible. to the podcast. One of them is terrible. It's the one that I'm on. And I yeah. really hate that, that that podcast episode. We talked. Um, you talked about a certain anything. silly man. None, nothing of that video happened. Yeah. <laughs> no, anyway. What are you guys saying? All right. So we've talked about ranking. We've talked about the seasons. We talked about the. We never golden talked era. about. Ra- oh well, sort of. We sort of talked about ranking, but anyway, go ahead. We talked about the golden eras. Now let's talk about some of the videos. Um, okay. Avery, I want to ask like, you, uh, what's your favorite video? My favorite video to edit is probably the big crossover one. I know Jacob got a good kick out of that Bro, one. Bro, mm. when I saw that video, he knows. I was on a Zoom call with him. <laughs> I was fucking dying. And I, that wasn't even the first time. Yeah, These I think smell. it was the second or third time I watched it. It was ah! so funny. I laughed. Whoops. <laughs> ah! <laughs> He spelled some ah. of the. He spelled. Jesus. You, you initiated you're my hurting, gang reflex. You're, you're hurting my ear, man. But ah. yeah, he's, he's just thinking about the. Funny he spilled. Video I edited. All that happened was he spilled was some laughter. pork. He spilled some pork rinds. That was it. Can we he, keep going? I spilled now? some pork rinds and he was like, ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Look at the spikes. <laughs> so your fa- would that be your favorite video? Yes. Okay. Oh. It, it might, it, that may be the funniest, but I don't know if it's my favorite. What? That's... My favorite, honestly, probably has to be the Avengers Infinity Bros. Cr- uh, re-edit. Re-edit? Just because it was... Because you just because I enjoyed prou- that. Just because it's mine and I'm proud of it. And it took so long You to should make. be proud of that. And it's so long. As well. Like, it's so long and it's funny. At mm. least I think. It's well, funny. my favorite video, and this is going to surprise you, is, isn't even released. It's the one Avery sent me. <laughs> at Christmas time. Why did we never upload? Why did you never tell it's, me about huh? that first? Wait, what, what video was that? I sent Ben a silly video about me. I have watched well that. Silly. I've watched that more than than like four times, and it, every single time it is hilarious. It oh, is. I don't, I don't remember. I, don't, I, I don't, may have watched it. May, may have I watched I oh, I showed it to you yeah. on a Zoom call. I I'm not, not going to send that one to DJ yeah. Bros because I look cringe and fat. Oh come on, man! It's no, no, I'm fine. 
We'll do something for Christmas. We'll do it at Christmas. But anyway, Next Christmas. But the video. You, you were like less valuable when you were fat. We could do, do something else seen. on Christmas. I'm going to be so skinny, I'll be like Holocausto. So basically, yeah, with that video, Avery. What the fuck? What the fuck? A- Avery. <laughs> He's the only one fucking <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, okay, moving on. We this was around the time that I was doing my Christmas mixtape, okay? And so the, the the Christmas mixtape was originally Underwear. It was originally supposed to be all you know, four of us. All right. Uh look, if if we were ever to do something for Christmas, and I really do want to do it, I would like to do some like a live show. Where we like introduce clips from the past and we like <laughs> add context. Like you remember, I, I I don't know if any of you watched. The Just Simpsons. Photoshop a bunch of Christmas hats onto all Santa Claus hats. <laughs> That's essentially what we did this time. <laughs> but anyway, I wanted to be, to be more more engaging. Uh, and I I, I you, you ever watched The Simpsons? Like uh. Yeah. Well, wait. No, Simpsons. What no, is but that? The, is that the, the yellow simple. People? Hold on. <laughs> right. Before. No, look. The Simpsons would have these these what? videos in which they would make up Just fake like a Jess. fake history of like uh, of the Simpsons, and it was really funny. Can and I feel a, like can we, we make should... a DJ Bros couch gag. But we right now? <laughs> if, if, if we ever were I to do that, beer. I think oh, like a live show beer. in which we were like introducing the fake history of <laughs> DJ Bros would be really <laughs> funny, and like it would be Christmas themed. Mm-hmm. Anyway, it's just an idea, but that yeah. would be that was always like that was what I thought it was gonna be, but it yeah. never showed up. So like so, that. so the. I was going um, to do a parody of Wonderful Christmas Time. I think it was going to be called Lockdown during the Christmas time or something. Oh. <laughs> do you remember Shitty that? Barely. Lockdown during the Christmas. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right parody much. was better. <laughs> it, it could have been great, but <laughs> yeah. I just realized nobody has context of this. But anyway, so the the, the point being Guys, that I remember. Heard, have you heard of Pink Whitey? <laughs> <laughs> I, I remember I was. I remember. What's I got to get some chicks out. So you like, you know, PC there, and yeah. Brokaki? Brokaki pizza. <laughs> As I was saying, with the Christmas mixtape, um, it Guys, was, that's my I was suppo- of Tommy in it. I was saying <laughs> that it was supposed Polk to Champ. be it was supposed to be a Christmas album. All four of us were gonna contribute. That didn't end up happening and I was a little bit disappointed. Ben said to me, check out this song that Avery made me for Christmas, and I was like, What? And so he that, showed me the video. That was my fate. It was just, it made me laugh. <laughs> yeah, it, it was just, it was just a Christmas present that was supposed to make Ben laugh. And so, but I watched the video, like Avery was playing Tommy Wiseau and he was like addressing it to Rob Schneider. And I watched it and I went, that was amazing. Why the hell wasn't it a part of the Christmas album? <laughs> I, like, I was so, so I made, so it, I made it literally on Christmas. Oh, like, you did? Oh. I feel like doing well, this because it's I silly. uploaded the Christmas album at or Christmas mixtape at like 2 p.m. on Christmas. <laughs> I was recording it by that time. I was oh, recording man. my, my time okay. thing at like 2 p.m. with my new sweater on. Uh, okay, like fair enough. Christmas. Okay, so what I really wanted to talk about was the Tommy Wiseau video yeah. or the Adam Sandler one. And the reason I wanted to talk about that is that looking back on it, I'm going to be honest, that video is kind of shit. Like, Aww. well, I look, look right, like it, it's kind of funny, but... If you look at it, it's essentially like a Family Guy cutaway. Uh, I don't know. You guys have any comments on some of the uh, videos you had? Those, those... I'm really disappointed with the yearbook quote I had. What did you have? Ja- Jack had a song by Daft Punk. Yeah, that's right. That, that was Mine... I, I was so disappointed. Whoever um, said that? Whoever wrote that? Wrote what? A, from a song by Daft Punk. Oh, and, and that was the teacher. It, which is weird because he talks about how he has OCD and stuff like that. That's my bottle. Um, he talks about how he has OCD and stuff. Give me my bottle. <laughs> he talks about how... Okay, give me the... He talks about how he has OCD and stuff like that. And yet when he was writing out like oh. the yearbook quotes, <laughs> for whatever reason... Like everybody else just had a hyphen and then whoever said it. For whatever reason, oh, this guy, this, uh, for my quote, he wrote from a song by Daft Punk. And by the way, the quote was, hold on, if love is the answer, you're home, which is a lyric, that lyric was used in both Daft Punk's farewell video and then my parody of Daft Punk's farewell video, which was called Epic Log, by the way. So yeah, that was uh, was just a strange decision on his part. Yeah, mine was everyone's got something to hide except for me and my monkey. Nice. A song song, from the Beatles. Which is a song (laughs) by the Beatles. And I really regret it. Really? I would have had another song by the Beatles. What was your quote? I would have had it. All, I, I probably would have had it. All you need is love. 
Really? Yeah. Okay. That guys, sounds guys, good. Guys, if you had to change your yearbook quote, what would you change it to? Uh, I like mine. Oh right. Well, well, mine originally was gonna be um uh subscribe. To yeah, DJ it was Bros. it was gonna be subscribe to DJ Bros with like the link copied and pasted in like but like the short link. It would have just been you know youtube.com slash DJ Bros YT. And so uh, he responded with, Hi Jack, I am sure that admin will not allow you to make that your yearbook quote. Would you like to choose something else? And then I spent months pondering that and then eventually <laughs> I like said, to think said, admin is like the secret council of guardians. <laughs> Ad, the, admin. Like the elders of the round table. <laughs> yeah, the elders of the, the round elders. table. They like decide what goes in the yearbook well, quote. You are hurting my ears again. Look at that spike. To be ins insufficient. All right. Well, I th yes, exactly. Yeah, we should cool. wrap this up. Anyways, guys, glad you it? glad you enjoyed this uh, this newest episode of the DJ Bros podcast. I've been your host Avery with my co-host. You've been the, okay. Well, I, I don't know how exactly yeah. you became. I don't know how you became the only host. Hey guys, welcome to the DJ Bros podcast. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bazinga.